Have you ever wondered how that tiny device on your wrist can tell how fast your heart is beating? One of the most impressive features of modern wearables is how they constantly monitor your heart rate. They do this using light, yes really, shining into your skin to track blood flow. But how exactly does it do that? How can a watch possibly see what's going on inside your body? Let's dive into the fascinating science behind it, right here on History of Simple Things. First things first, it all starts with a little light. Yes, light. Most smartwatches use a technology called photoplethysmography, or PPG for short. Sounds complicated, but the concept is surprisingly simple. When your heart beats, it pushes blood through your veins and arteries. As this happens, the volume of blood in your wrist increases slightly with each beat. So, how does it do that using light? If you flip your watch over and take a look at the underside, you'll probably see a small cluster of green lights flashing rhythmically. Those green LEDs shine into your skin, and the light reflects off the blood flowing through the tiny vessels just beneath the surface. Now here's where it gets smart your blood absorbs green light. When your heart pumps and sends more blood into your wrist, more green light is absorbed. When the heart relaxes and there's less blood in that area, less light is absorbed. The smartwatch has tiny sensors that measure how much light is bouncing back. By tracking these changes in reflected light over time, it can determine the rhythm of your heartbeat. But why green light? It turns out that red blood absorbs green light particularly well, which makes it easier to detect those subtle changes. Some higher-end smartwatches also use infrared light for more discreet monitoring, especially during sleep tracking. But green LEDs remain the standard for most active heart rate tracking. This clever trick of using light to read your pulse is non-invasive, meaning it doesn't have to break the skin or get inside your body. It works externally all day long without you even noticing. That's the beauty of PPG. It's both simple and elegant, and it fits right into a compact device on your wrist. Still, measuring your heart rate isn't just about blinking lights. Smartwatches also use algorithms to make sense of all that data. After all, your body is constantly moving. You're walking, typing, working out, or even just shifting your wrist. All of that motion can mess with the signal the watch is trying to read. That's why advanced software steps in, filtering out noise and interpreting the real pulse pattern underneath. Think of it like trying to hear someone talking in a crowded room. There's a lot of background noise, but your brain helps you focus on the voice you care about. Similarly, your smartwatch's processor sifts through all the data and identifies the actual rhythm of your heart from the mess of movement and signals. But that's just the beginning. Some watches go even further by using electrocardiogram, ECG, or EKG sensors. This is more commonly found in premium devices like the Apple Watch or Samsung Galaxy Watch. Instead of using light, ECG measures the electrical signals that control your heartbeat. It works kind of like the heart monitors you see in hospitals. To take an ECG reading, you usually need to place your finger on the digital crown or a specific sensor for about 30 seconds. The watch then measures the tiny electrical changes on your skin caused by your heart's contractions. This can help detect irregularities like atrial fibrillation, something that could be missed with PPG alone. 
so between PPG for regular tracking and ECG for deeper analysis, your smartwatch is essentially acting like a mini health lab strapped to your wrist. It's amazing how much technology is packed into something so small. Smartwatches don't just gather data, they reveal trends. Your sleep heart rate, for instance, reflects recovery, stress, and overall health. A high resting rate might signal poor rest, dehydration, or illness. During workouts, heart rate zones guide your intensity, from fat burning to peak performance. And let's not forget one of the more emotional uses of heart rate data, stress detection. Some smartwatches combine heart rate variability, how much your heart rate fluctuates between beats, with breathing patterns and other indicators to assess how stressed you are. That said, it's important to remember that while smartwatches are pretty accurate for casual health tracking, they're not medical devices. There's always a margin of error, especially during intense movement or when the watch isn't sitting snugly on your wrist. That's why for any serious health concerns, it's always best to consult with a doctor. And the future is only getting brighter. Newer models are beginning to incorporate even more biosensors, like those for blood oxygen saturation, SPO2, skin temperature, and even blood pressure. As AI becomes more advanced, we can expect our devices to not only track our vitals, but also give meaningful insights, like predicting fatigue, illness, or helping manage chronic conditions. So the next time you glance down at your wrist and see your heart rate ticking away, remember that behind that simple number is a complex mix of biology, physics, and engineering. It's a beautiful blend of light, sensors, and software, working together seamlessly to give you a window into one of the most essential rhythms of life, your heartbeat. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.